All right, so this is the totally stock configuration, stock antennas, uh, stock receiver antenna, stock VTX antenna on the Mobula 6, and I have a custom canopy on here. But I have the antennas arranged kind of like this out in the open, so I want to see what the maximum range is on this totally stock configuration before I swap the antennas out. All right, so I'm going to try and stay a little lower to the ground. That does reduce range a little bit. But um, uh, I'm not exactly sure how far away this is to the other side of the soccer field. Or baseball diamonds, I guess, this little park here. And um, I don't have the infinity antenna on here. I'm clear over to the other side of the park. No warnings. My, my video is not so great here. I know that some people have been at... There, I got telemetry lost warning. Just got my first telemetry... Another telemetry lost warning. So I know some people have had range issues with the Mobula 6. I've been lucky, I guess. Maybe my antenna is the correct length, or I've uh, arranged it in a way that... Um, allows me to go this far but yeah I'll put up on the screen how far that was to that corner but yeah now it's um giving me the warnings but it's not it's not uh giving me fail safe yet but I'm going to swap the antenna and then we'll see if we have any improvement but um I heard some people can't go more than 20, 25 meters. But I seem to be okay. Yeah, this is totally stock. Alright, so uh, this is the Mobula 6 with the modified receiver antenna and also went ahead and modified the VTX antenna as well. Um, I would recommend doing the VTX antenna modification. I think that is going to make a, an improvement in your video. And it's not that difficult because it does have the signal and negative there separated for the VTX. And it's pretty easy to do. The receiver antenna is much more difficult, and you can see it's right there. You can see where the signal goes in there, and then I used this, the end of this capacitor there for the ground. And I'll just put a photo up here of what it looks like a little closer, hard to see there. However, I don't think I did this properly, or I messed it up somehow, because as you'll see in the flight demo, I don't think I'm getting as far as with the stock antenna. And I did try and manipulate the active length of the, of the, or the, the length of the active element here. Um, tried different lengths and uh, it doesn't seem to make much difference. So I would recommend not doing this modification unless you find some ground somewhere else and maybe use longer wire. Of course, there's probably downsides to that. I think. I, I think I did, uh, the way I did it here is going to ruin the board. I think I actually ruined the board here. So I'm going to kind of uh, stop uh, with this little experiment here. I think uh, you possibly could get a uh, better antenna and run a little ground wire somewhere further, a little somewhere safer. I don't know where exactly on the board that might be better. Uh, I'm not going to try it though. I think I'm just, I'm happy with the um, distance I was getting on the stock antenna. So I'm just going to stick with that for uh, the future. Alright, let's see how far I can go here. I will put up on the screen what 
the distance is. I obviously don't have GPS on here, so I have no idea how far I can go. And I'm already getting telemetry lost, telemetry recovered warnings. Not that far away. I'll put it up on the screen here. How far that away is. So I'm thinking this is not a. Uh, this <laughs> I didn't do the procedure correctly or messed up something because it's not that far. Um, so there's not. I think actually I made the range worse than before.